relatives of the Menendez brothers, remember them, came together today in Los Angeles pleading for the brothers' release. All this comes just as the case is getting big national attention once again because of new streaming series. Eric and Lyle Menendez currently serving life sentences without the possibility of parole. They were convicted, you might remember, of shooting and killing their parents in 1989. The district attorney says he's reevaluating the case now, citing new evidence that includes a letter written by Eric Menendez detailing allegations of sexual abuse at the hands of their father. If Lyle and Eric's case were heard today, with the understanding we now have about abuse and PTSD, there is no doubt in my mind that their sentencing would have been very different. This is now a buzz around the country, serious buzz. Uh, the DA plans, by the way, to make a decision on possible resentencing sometime this month, but it would be up to the judge to make a final decision in this case. The next known hearing scheduled for the Mendez brothers is late next month. Now, there is a special debuting tomorrow only on Hulu. It's called Menendez Brothers Monsters or Victims. Nightline anchor Juju Chang joining us this evening to talk about this special. And Juju, we, we said to you, this case coming back after all these years, it is fascinating how many people have, have, have jumped on it and are just riveted to every finding. Absolutely. Everywhere I go, it's all anyone wants to talk about. It's all over the TikTok generation, young people, but also certainly newly informed older generation who have a new mindset, looking at the same evidence and looking at what happened to these young boys that might have led them to this horrific crime, a shotgun murder of both of their parents while they're sitting eating ice cream in their living rooms. And really, it riveted the nation back then. But then they were sent away in a second trial that didn't involve sex abuse, and they were sentenced to life in prison without parole. And yet they have spent the last three decades being model prisoners, and now there's this first new glimmer of freedom for the first time in three decades. It's not new evidence, though. It's, it's the old evidence that they wouldn't allow talked about. And now, because society has changed, they're now thinking, a lot of people, a lot of pressure now, we want to talk about this. Why you can't ignore that? Absolutely. Now, one of it is a letter that Eric wrote to his cousin who testified on the stand, and he wrote literally, I've been trying to avoid dad. It's still happening, Andy, but it's much worse for me. Uh, every night I stay up thinking he might come in. Now, what that does, oh. I know, right? Mm. It corroborates this abuse before the murder takes place because that speaks to motive. Did they do it for greed? Did they do it as some sort of pathological stone cold killers? This letter suggests they did it to try to get out of the abuse. And the other piece of newly resurfaced evidence is this Menudo pop star. Yeah. who says he was molested by Jose Melendez in that Beverly Hills Can you home. Imagine? A very ri ritzy home, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, they were very wealthy. And in this special, you are talking to some interesting characters in this story. Absolutely. I speak to one of the cousins who says she saw abusive situations throughout the house. All, all 20 of the cousins and aunts showed up today at this press conference. The 92-year-old sister of Ketty Menendez, her voice choking with emotion, oh. saying that she wants to see her nephew's home, that they have paid the price, that their system let them down, their parents let them down, and now it's time to be released. Now, there's at least one uncle, a brother, who mm -hmm. still believes that the motive was greed, but right now we're in this time where we're re-examining crime and punishment. Does this punishment fit this crime? Isn't yeah. that just something? It's uh, fascinating. It's, it is so bizarre, and, and a lot of people have changed their minds about this mm -hmm. because it should have gone in there. I know that my 15-year-old daughter, it's all she talks about. They've seen everything that has been produced. They're going to see yours now. Thank you so uh, much. And think about what's happened in the last 30 years, yeah. the Me Too movement, the Catholic Church scandal, so many men Everything. coming forward saying, mm -hmm. I was abused. Yeah. And I think that's changed the way people look at this case. So it makes it all seem possible. No surprise, the father was abused by his mother, too, mm. right? Yeah, so absolutely. there you go. Thank you so much, Juju. Thank you for so happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. and that's special Menendez yeah. Brothers, Monsters or Victims streams tomorrow only on Hulu.